Hi everyone, welcome back. I am kind of feeling like a hot mess today, so I figured let's use some makeup. And to make it more interesting, I'm actually going to be piggybacking off of one of my previous videos, and we are going to be doing a full face of if I could only buy from five brands. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below, but I'm only going to be using those five brands to complete a full face. So before we get started, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and we'll get going. So for a recap, I'm going to tell you the five brands. Number one was Benefit. Number two was Jouer. Number three is Urban Decay. Number four is Fenty Beauty. And number five is Laura Mercier. Those were the five brands that I picked, and we are going to start with Laura Mercier, and we're gonna be using the Pure Canvas Hydrating Powder Primer. This was one of the first primers that I actually purchased. I went through a whole mini size of it first, and then I repurchased the full size. And I know there are different, like they're all the Pure Canvas primers, but there are different ones. So like I picked the hydrating one, but I know there's like a blurring one, I think there's like a glowy one, but in general, I think Laura Mercier has really good primers. For foundation, we are going to be using Urban Decay. This is the Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. It's still pretty hot outside, so a tinted moisturizer is perfect for me. Plus, I really like this one. I actually just used this foundation for a wedding, and the bride looks stunning with it. She has a bit more drier skin than I do, but it wore on her beautifully. So if you have drier skin and you like to look a little bit glowy, this is a good one for you. It also has good coverage, like obviously it just covered up the redness in my cheek, but it's not so full coverage that it's going to leave you looking like a mask. And I put it on my hand, so for now I'm just going to take whatever's left on my hand, pick it up with my sponge, and just press everything in. This helps get rid of any brush marks and pick up any excess product. And then you're left with a really flawless like skin finish. Obviously, I'm a little bit glowy. My ring light makes it a little more intense. Next, we're going to be moving on to concealer. So obviously, I'm going to be using my Jouer Essential Concealer. This bottle is almost empty, and I am so proud of myself for actually going through a product. And then because of how I do my concealer, I'm also going to let you guys know we're going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is my all-time favorite for setting under my eyes. We are really scraping the bottom of this bottle. I'm just going to blend it out with a concealer brush. This is the brush from Rare Beauty. It is by far my favorite concealer brush. And I don't really swipe, I just kind of pat until it looks blended in pretty well and then I'll use my sponge to blend it in even more. And then before I move on to the other eye, I am going to set this under eye with my Laura Mercier powder. So I'm going to do the other eye and down my nose real fast, but it is the same process. Now that I've got everything powdered, I do go in with my sponge and just go over that powder. This helps continue to keep that skin like finish and also pick up any excess powder that doesn't really need to be there. We are going to be using powder products today because I have more oily skin, so powder products tend to work a little bit better for me. But I do like to set the rest of my face before applying them. It just helps the products not skip around. So I do have a face powder from Jouer. This is the Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. And I actually really like to keep this one in my purse. So when I'm out and about, I've got a really good powder to help calm down my oily face. So I'm just using a big powder brush and we're going to set the rest of the face. And because it's a powder, we are going to go over it with my sponge and just pick up any excess powder. But I really do enjoy that powder. It's why I keep it in my purse so much is just because it's really good at touch-ups and making you look beautiful after you've been wearing your makeup for a few hours. But to stay in theme, we are now going to move on to the bronzer, which is going to be my Jouer Sun Swept Bronzer Duo. And I just kind of like to mix the two shades. One's a bit more ashier for a contour and one's a bit more warmer, but I just kind of mix them. So I like to start on my cheeks 
And then I like to go under my forehead and kind of connect it down into my temple area. I like to do some under my jaw and down my neck. And then just a touch on my nose. I put concealer on my nose because I feel like I have a really red tip. So I like to cover that up, but then my nose looks really white. So I just add a little bit of bronzer and blush to kind of even out my nose again. But it was a powder, so now we're going to blend it out a little bit more with my sponge. Kind of clean up the edges. If you're not familiar with Jouer face products though, they blend out really nicely. You really don't need to do the sponge step with these products, but it's just a habit of mine, so I do it. Next, we're going to go on to blush, which again is going to be from Jouer. This is their Cheeky Summer Blush Duo. And I only use the lighter shade of the two. This darker shade is a little bit too, like, red for me. So it really looks like I got sunburnt. But this is the shade Hot Coral, the lighter one. I am a remote employee, so I don't really, like, smile a lot throughout the day. So I tend to, like, put it where my face sits naturally. So if I'm smiling all the time, it would only be, like, back here. So I like to just kind of bring it forward a little bit so you can still see the blush. I also like this blush because it does have a little bit of a glow to it. Like with how much glow I've got between the foundation and my the rest of my products really. I don't honestly need a highlight. I like highlights, so we're gonna wear it, but between this blush and the foundation, you don't really need it. But I do like this color. It's, it's a nice brighter pink, which is what I've really been into lately. So of my five brands, I have three highlighters to choose from. I've got my Benefit Cookie one, which is super intense. And then I've got two from Fenty Beauty, which I've got How Many Carrots and the Rosé Rave. These are definitely more like glitter rather than a shimmery highlight. And because I've got natural, like glowy cheeks, I don't want to add such a blinding one with my Benefit. So I think what I'm going to do is just add my How Many Carrots add a little glitter on the cheeks, and maybe down the center of my nose, and that'll be my highlight today. And I actually use like a fan brush for these highlighters because they're basically glitter. Like you're not really getting a dense coat of product. You're basically just getting glitter. So I just use a little fan brush and do a little dusting and call it good. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and prime my eyes off camera, but I am still sticking with the theme. For my brows, we're going to be using the Benefit Gimme Brow, which has always been a favorite of mine. And we're going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to prime the eyelids. So please enjoy the intermission. For eyes today, I pulled out my Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I really haven't used this palette a lot. Like I purchased it on sale thinking I would love it because it's very neutral, very gold, you know, things that I like. And for some reason I really haven't picked it out. So this is the one we're gonna use today. To begin, we're gonna start with this shade. It is called Swarm. I'm not feeling something too intense today. So we're just gonna try to keep it a little simple. And I'm going to start with this in my crease and blend it up to be my transition shade. I have been eyeing this shimmer shade since I pulled this palette out. It's called HBIC. So I'm just going to put that all over the lid. It is a shimmer, so I'm just going to place it on with my finger. Ooh, that's really pretty. And I'm just doing the whole lid, corner to corner. I'm going to take a flat shader brush just to get it into the inner corner here. Now I'm going to go into this shade. It's called Keeper. And I'm just going to blend out the shimmer line with that color. I am going to go back into Swarm now just to blend a little bit more towards my eyebrows. And then I'd like to have a little bit of a brown liner action type thing going on. I know that's weird. I don't typically do liner. So we're gonna go into this shade, it's called Sting. I'm just using a small angled brush and I'm going to start on this outer third close to my lash line. And I'm really only doing from like the outer corner to about halfway. I just wanted a little like subtlety on the outer third, but that shade in particular has a lot of fallout so I'm gonna try to sweep it away. So now we're gonna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna go back into Keeper 
and just pinch the brush and I am taking that corner to corner. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Swarm using the same brush because I don't want to dirty any more brushes. Just going to pinch it and then blend out the Keeper shade. And then just to bring a little bit of brightness back into my inner corner, I'm going to go into this lightest shade here. It's not a full sparkle, but it looks like there might be some sparkly-ness to it. But I'm just going to pop that in the in that inner corner to just help brighten that up. Yeah, it's got some shimmer to it. It's actually really pretty. It's pretty close to a white rather than a cream. I'm not mad at it. I think it's pretty. So I don't have a setting spray by any of these brands, so I am going to forego that. I, I know Urban Decay has a great one, and I believe Laura Mercier has a really good one too. I just haven't picked any of them up, so I'm going to skip that part. But for lashes, I am going to go into my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is my only Benefit mascara at this time. I really like the Roller Lash Mascara too, if you're looking for a good one. But I am going to do this off camera. For lips, I don't have a lip liner from any of these companies. But what I do have is a whole lot of lip glosses from Fenty Beauty. So today, I think we're going to go into the gloss bomb cream which is the one without any shimmer in it and this is in the shade Fenty Glow. I know this color is a bit more pink but yesterday I wore brown and I don't really want to wear brown again and my other shade that would go with this look is brown. So we're gonna try the Fenty Glow color first and if it really looks bad I'll change it to the brown shade which is Cookie Jar. And really I don't think it that it's that bad. I think it looks good. So here's our finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what five brands you can't live without. Obviously, this was my high-end edition. If you guys are interested in a drugstore edition, just let me know and I will try to put one of those together. I'm not super familiar with drugstore products, but I could probably do it if you wanted it. I had a lot of fun filming this today. I needed to film, give myself a little boost. You'll have to let me know if any of my brands that I picked are also part of your top brands. Other than that though, this is all I have for you. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It just helps me out and lets me know you're enjoying the content. I'm here on Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.